Hi guys! So I found this pug photo online and wanted to challenge myself to make it cuter. It was pretty hard and I wanted to give up, but I think I pulled it off okay, so I wanted to share that with you guys. And a lot of people have told me that my drawings are not suitable for beginners, so I made this drawing much simpler and easier than my previous drawings, so hopefully you guys enjoy this drawing and my new tutorial style. Now without further ado, let's get started. As always, I start my drawing with geometrical shapes, so I am drawing a big oval for the slightly tilted head and a smaller oval underneath the head for the body. This oval should be tilted as well. And then I draw three rectangles for the legs. The back leg should be slightly thicker than the rest. Then I draw two triangles on both sides of the head for the ears. I draw two circles for the eyes and a small triangle between the eyes for the nose. Although the photo has a closed mouth, I'm making an open mouth with the tongue out to make it cuter. Now I'm drawing a color which will make your drawing extra cuter. For this time, I'm giving a dog bone as a color. If you draw a box first to draw the bone, it will help you draw a symmetrical bone. I'm going back to the eyes to draw the eye details, so I'm drawing a small circle on the top left side for the pupil and a slightly bigger circle for the iris. Repeat the same thing on the right side of the eyes. Now it's time to connect those geometrical shapes and soften the pointy corners. So I'm drawing a slightly bigger circle on the outside of the eyes because I want to color around the eyes with darker gray. If you look at the photo, the pug has darker colors on his eyes, nose, and ears. So this will let me know where to color with the darker shades later on. I'm making the top eyelid a little thicker and then drawing the three eyelashes on both sides. I'm back to the body to connect those geometrical shapes. I'm giving a nice curve on the butt area and drawing small feet at the end of the legs. I like how the pug is so wrinkly, so I'm drawing the wrinkles on the neck area. Just draw two bumps on each side. Back to the eyes, I'm drawing the highlights on the pupil. First, I'm drawing a circle on the top left corner and then one small heart and a tiny star next to it. The eyes are going to look extra sparkly. To make the drawing more lovely, I'm drawing hearts floating around the puppy. The pencil sketches are all done, so let's erase those geometric shades because we don't need them anymore. It's time to move on to marker. I'm using a thick marker right now for the outer shapes, but I'm going to use a pen to draw any small details later on.
I'm going over multiple times for the top eyelid to draw the extra thick outlines. Now I'm switching to a pen to draw the details of the eyes. The black outlines are all done, so let's erase all the pencil sketches before moving on to coloring. From now, I'm going to fast forward the coloring part. This is how I'm coloring my pug puppy. I'm using a beige for the skin tone, two different grays for the ears, nose, and eyes, and teal and pink for the color. Feel free to follow me if you like my color choices, but that will also be fun if you try different colors. What should I name this pug? I can't think of a good name, so I'm just writing hi. Could you guys please help me name this pug puppy? Let me know in the comment below. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And please comment down below if you like me to draw or make any other cute things. I would love to hear from you and get connected. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!